Greetings fellow flesh inhabited skeletons, this is Migoy from Too Much Gaming and today we are taking a look at two figures from the Pose Skeleton line by Reman. Let's kick things off with the Pose Skeleton Gorilla. Part of the mammal's wave, this ape is a fair bit larger than the humanoid skeletons. Inside the box is a manual, the gorilla figure, and a pair of extra open palmed hands. The figure is nicely molded with a few paint shadings to help accentuate the details. There are a few nubs and seam lines on it, but given the relatively small scale of the entire line, I'll give them a pass. Attached are a pair of hands with the knuckles bent in to mimic the gorilla's natural stance. The hands have molded straight pegs which allow them to be swapped easily with the extra pair. Before we head on to the articulation segment, let's take a step back to the Jurassic period with the pose skeleton Tyrannosaurus. The unboxing is pretty straightforward as there are no extra accessories to speak of outside of the figure itself. Hailing from the dinosaur series of Poe's Skeleton, the T-Rex dons a dark brown to evoke a more fossilized color scheme. When you're the best of friends, we, we, we. All right, <laughs> bad jokes aside. We're gonna do the articulation segment on the Pose Skeleton Gorilla Mammal. Pose Skeleton Mammal Gorilla. And the Pose Skeleton Dinosaur Series Tyrannosaurus. That's right, that's right. But first, we're gonna take away the, the T Rex, for he is extinct. We're gonna focus first on the Gorilla Man. So, while he has a ton of joints, I am actually not as impressed as I thought I would be. First of all, like, joint tolerances are a little, little floppy floppy loose. Not super bad, but it's not easy to get him to stand unless you balance everything out. And even then, like, stuff kind of flippity flops and collapses on you. But hey, we'll get to that later. First of all, we're gonna just show off the many, many joints that this boy has. So, he's got, like, um, friction pin discs up the wazoo like what you'd find on your figmas mostly and then the occasional big old raw hinge like here on the elbow so he's got a pin disc in the head he's got a some kind of friction joint for the jaw can go down pretty far uh, like breaking i guess i i could imagine a gorilla actually roaring that loud with the, with the jaw going down that far uh, before we get to the torso we got pin discs up on the shoulder go any which way we got a big old friction joint like I said on the elbow he's got a swivel on the wrist and because it's just like that it's a peg that can pop in and out the stomach has the one big pin disc right there and like I guess so that you don't crutch like the chest they just opted to make it a solid piece and uh, below the waist, you can see two pin discs on the hips as well. Same story on the knees, can go that far. And on the ankles. So he's got quite a lot of jointage, but again, not as many as I would, like I expected. And uh, some of these are not, like I'm not super happy with, like first off, I'll talk about this now. Um, the, the thing about pin discs with like uh, a double-sided peg, or if you if you can understand what I'm saying, like there's a peg that goes here, a peg that goes here, and you can pivot it. So to to get like accentuated motion usually is um, you'd have to finagle the joint 
so that the the disc hinge can go out in any which way so like you can manipulate it there then rotate a certain piece and whatnot so um, what happens is it gets a little misaligned so you see the neck now on the head is misaligned with the center of the head so it can look down like that but if I tilt it forward he's, he's got a little perplexed look on his face and to to get it back to normal it is very difficult because you don't get a lot of leverage to like I guess you just have to yeah pop it out then readjust it but because the joints are so small it's a little challenging to do so and if you can't get like a good grip on it I fear I have a big fear of breaking the darn thing I can't rotate it <laughs> it's so scary but yeah like that's the the downside of the pin disc stuff that's why I like I'm not super fond of posing figmas because they're kind of like they're not action figures which is why I really like like Bandai's SH figure arts line which is made so that you can replicate like human articulations by finagling it unlike this one where you have to pissed uh, yeah, like pissed what the uh, spin and twist until you get the correct angle and then work your way from that so the biggest downside of that is seen on the ankles where it can bend down forward and back but because the joint is only a swingy pin this joint you can't do the the ankle rocker thing unless you finagle the joint in a way that will make it so it'll like much like what I had with the head where it's tilting sideways and all that but then like realigning everything is such a pain in the butt so it uh, add to the fact that he's a he's all floppy man there you go he doesn't really hold a, a pose like his joint tolerances aren't up to the task given how heavy this chest is because if it's a, a solid chunk too I mean you can get him into a pose and the joints will hold but I feel like if you sneeze on him sometimes he might still fall like you know like his elbow like it's bending over time you can see him he's given up on life slowly oh that's the big fall there you go but yeah like as far as joints go he's still got a lot more so than other a lot of other figures you can find at this scale and i guess for accuracy maybe maybe that's just the limitation of the toy line and the design that is the gorilla skeleton like he's supposed to be top heavy i really wish these joints just were a bit stronger you know but enough about the gorilla man before he falls over let's go move on to the t-rex the tyrannosaurus and exactly the same much like the the gorilla it's it's pin discs up the wazoo so um you got you got a hip joint here big old pin disc over there can do this then it can twist can go all the way around it's got a limiting knee joint because the bone design kind of bumps into each other which i feel like they could have given that a deeper cut so it can bend a little further but i don't know man i didn't study dinosaurs so maybe it's just like that in real life so his ankle falls into the same weakness that is the lack of a beautiful ankle pivot just because of how the joint is designed the tail's got two big old points of articulation on the base and in the middle and this one's a lot easier to like maneuver about because of like the leverage and the space given to do so he's got <laughs> tiny little <laughs> dinosaur arms <laughs> they didn't even give him an elbow joint look at that his little chicken wing <laughs> of, a, of an arm and like oh he can't even reach his little hands so oh. <laughs> I guess that's accurate for T-Rex, I don't know. Uh, his neck has got a big old pin disc joint right there on the base. It's pretty darn expressive. Um, everything's all soft plastic, so it doesn't really clash in a way that it's scary. Or like, you, you're not worried about breakage. And they kept the chest here a lot more hollow than they did with the Gorilla Man. The head also has a pin disc right there. So you can do that. You can twist it around I guess you gotta finagle the the head shape a little bit but then stuff starts bumping into each other you could probably force it there you go then go all the way back down hopefully like the, the hopefully the joint doesn't pop off or you don't misalign it and then the jaw 
It's got like two little pins there, it just plugs into the head and it's got big old, big old dislocatingly wide maw. <laughs> and yeah, um, I really wish this guy had better like ankle joints, like come on. And this also falls into the weakness of sorta soft joint tolerances, like he can hold a pose better. And you do have to balance out the weight of the tail and the body, I guess, given how a T-Rex is designed. But yeah, like, I think a, an ankle joint would have been much better, and maybe a deeper, like, I guess, to make the, the knee hold a lot better, they chose to limit its bend. And it is easier to stand than this man, who just likes to topple over, just look, look like you've, you're being defeated, Gorilla Man. While neat little figures, the weak joint tolerances right out of the box take a lot of the fun out of their namesake, which is to pose these skeletons. Given the sizes of the boxes that they came in, I wish Rement included some sort of stand or support base for these. But don't let this deter you as the loose joints might only be for my set. Yours might be snug from the get-go and there are ways to work around the lack of stands and support bases if you really want to go crazy with the posing. At the end of the day, they're a nice tiny skeletal representation of animals that can add variety to your desk. And that's my review for the Post Skeleton Gorilla and Tyrannosaurus. Thanks for checking out the video! If you enjoyed it, why not throw us a like and a sub? And if you'd like to grab a pose skeleton for yourself, head on over to greattoysonline.com to find great prices on great toys.